it's Ivy Slater, and you're listening to Her Success Story Podcast, a show where gutsy businesswomen share their success journey. Hi, it's Ivy Slater. Welcome to today's episode of Her Success Story. So ladies and gentlemen, today's episode is like what I refer to as a content episode. It's, it's me, myself, and I, and all you great listeners. So we're going to do a little bit of work. I always like to look at early in the year, the end of, the, the end of a year, and go early going into the next year of the reflections on the year before. And wow, was there a lot to reflect on in 2020. So before you're like, oh my goodness, I'm out of here, stop and take a breath. And I do this all the time and I help my clients do this, where you take a deep breath in and you let it out slowly. Do it again. Letting it out slowly. Ground yourself, take that moment. I always recommend doing this between client calls, between activities and at work, as you transition from activity and activity and responsibility and responsibility. In this way, take a moment and reflect back. You know, yes, 2020 was a year of adventure. There was also tons of silver linings. I'm gonna invite you to grab a fresh piece of paper. If you're a phone, if you make notes on your phone, open up a little uh, note there, if you're, if you're a computer person and you brainstorm that way, open up a fresh document. And share down on your paper, what are some of those silver linings of 2020? What were one of some of the great pieces that you took away? Make some notes. You could even pause this and then really do a deep dive brainstorm. Light a candle put some lovely background music on, get those creative juices flowing. What are you grateful for in 2020? You know, a few of the things that I was grateful for was the amount of actually intense family time we had. You know, I had two aggrote children and sometimes they're significant others who were living with us for long periods of time on end. Now it sounds like a lot of work and I'll tell you, sometimes it was. And it was a gift. It was a gift that that's not the norm wow, look how fortunate we are. Some other gifts that Slater, Slater, Slater Success had was when I put on the visionary leader calls and having that ability to build community, help others stay in the flow of business, not panic, take away the fear, connecting, you know, people connected. Oh, Ivy, I did this. I'm, I'm, can I invite some other people I, that I know I think this would be great? And I got the ability to enjoy people, reconnect with people. I did a lot of reach out calls and it reconnected me with people who are near and dear to my heart, but sometimes life gets busy. So what are some of your highlights? What were your silver linings from 2020? I'm gonna encourage you to then write what you don't wanna bring forward, write it down on a separate piece of paper, take that piece of paper, tear it up, throw it out, burn it, Things we're letting go, let go. See what you are taking forward and saying, wow, what can I do stepping into 2021 that creates a fresh new existence? What are you taking forward into this year? If you allow yourself to brainstorm, let go, think of anything you might want. You know, I always look at visioning as the beginning before we start setting goals. We have to start looking at visions, seeing what we want in our own lives, and then building the businesses and the careers that support that. So vision forward for a second. Vision your life, vision your career, vision your business as being anything you want it to be. And again, if you'd like, put this on pause and let your mind free flow. Let go of any limitations. Lead with your heart. Move it into your mind and let it expand. Let it open up. If you could have anything in the world, a business that looked like anything, a life that looked like everything, what would that be? And then see 
how some of those silver linings and how those great assets from 2020 were stepping stones to help you get there. Once you identify this, you can actually then break it into some goals, some very, very specific. I like right now with during this pandemic with a lot of the unknown still in the, in the air at times to work in mini goals. Look at the next 90 days. If you wanna create X, Y, and Z in 2021, what are the actions you can take in the next 90 days that will help you get there? Nope, you're not done yet. Hang tight. Create that list. Again, put this on pause. Create that list. What can you get done in the next 90 days that will help move you forward to achieve the goals you would desire in 2021? Identify that list of actions. And when you do, open your calendar up. A great way to stay out of overwhelm is not looking at every day at a long laundry list and everything we have to do. That becomes, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm getting, getting strangled. So how do we shift from that? We shift from that when we open the ability to calendar it out. So maybe you're gonna set, you know, for those of you who've been listening for a while, you know, I have some habits. One of my habits is financial, you know, money Mondays and financial Fridays, the two days of week that I look at the numbers of my business. Sometimes I do receivables, sometimes I do payables. I have my little system set down, love my systems. I actually had a busy day, um, you know, as I'm recording this. So I got a jumpstart on money Monday by just doing my money on Sunday, right? I just wanted, right? I wanted to step into this week with a clear head. How are you stepping into your weeks? Maybe grab an hour or two in different segments. If you, if you like to power work and you like long chunks, take two hours in the middle of, you know, on the end of the day, Wednesday, and identify the things that you're going to do to move your business forward. Marketing items, connecting. If you're a small chunk person, break it down into small chunks on different days. The key is to not just break it down and calendar it. Here's the challenge, honor what you're calendaring. So the greatest way to do this is find somebody you're accountable to, whether that be a coach, a mentor, an accountability partner, a BFF, a spouse. Uh, I don't care what it looks like, but somebody that's holding the space for you to be accountable to actually take these actions. Sometimes those actions are getting out and taking a walk. Sometimes they might be exercising. Sometimes it's you doing your money Monday or financial Friday, paying attention to your marketing. All the things that help you feel well to lead your career, your business forward. All the things that you can actually put in place to move you in the next 90 days. Love to hear some questions and comments. So in the links, you know, in the comments below, let me know what you're taking away from here. And as I'll always say, don't just leave me your takeaway, leave me your takeaway into the actions you're actually committing to. That's where change happens. That's where growth is. So I invite you to review your 2020 plan, your 2020, you know, year. Look at those silver linings. Throw out the things that you're ready to be done with. Take forward the pieces that are help you in moving forward into 2021 to create a vision and then a goal for yourself and your business. Take that, break it into 90 days. Identify those actions. Go to your calendar, calendar it out. Get an accountability partner to honor and help you hold to the commitment. Commit it to yourself and you will accomplish. Thanks for joining me here today at Her Success Story. If this was helpful, let us know in the links below. Remember, takeaway and action. Also hit subscribe. If you found this further impactful, share it forward. Please let other people know the impact that Her Success Story and the content we bring to you here is a resource. Thanks again. See you next Monday on our next new episode. Got my